Okay, what I've got is my one finger is in the number one cylinder hole here, and Corey's going to turn the crankshaft. Keep turning, start turning. And you'll be able to feel it here whether you're getting suction. And whoa, 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 whoa. And it was blowing as it was lining up here. Um, when that line marks up and it's blowing out of the spark plug hole, then you're at number one firing position. So we just need to reverse just a little bit here to get back to number one. Just went over the mark. Perfect. And this way when we drop it in and put the distributor in, it'll be all set to go. Water fun right here. If you've been keeping up with uh, the videos on this S10, You'll know that we got the engine in. And before I start putting the distributor in, I just want to make sure that uh, my timing mark is still at number one right there, which it is. Or at least close to it anyway. Okay, hopefully you got a good enough view here. I'm going to take that plug out that I had plugging the distributor hole. It's actually two plugs. Had to put a small plug in the middle of this one in order to find something to fit. It hasn't ran ran for a while, so I'm just going to pour a little bit of some assembly lube on the gear here. A little extra oil isn't going to hurt anything. And I put a couple of dabs of silicone up on this here just to hold this in place so it doesn't keep falling on me. I tried looking down in here with the flashlight and I can't get on a proper angle that I can see what direction that rod down there is facing in. But for anybody who doesn't know, there's a little tab right inside of there and that goes into a rod that runs down to your oil pump and that's what drives your oil pump. So this has to be lined up when you drop your distributor in. And this is run off of the camshaft right there, that gear. So since I can't see in that hole, I'm going to just play it by ear here. And I'm going to try and find it. Once I find it, I'll try and see which direction it's facing in. I'm on it, now I just got to find where which way it's turned all right you'll be able to feel it when you can feel it sitting on top of it and it turns okay now whew, here's the tricky part okay you can pretty much use put the distributor anywhere you want you can put your number where number one started anywhere on the distributor where you want in order to have the back of the distributor here turned in the right direction um, I'm just putting my cap on loosely and I want this one to be my number one right here it's gonna basically face towards number one that's just my general rule and I'm gonna put a little mark down at the bottom of right here where the where this wire is and take that back off and then I'm gonna can And then I'm just going to continue the mark along the top here so I can see where my number one is supposed to face at. If I face my rotor towards that blue line, then my distributor, I want this on a slight angle. So what I'm looking at is the bottom pin here and I'm trying this inside pin, I'm trying to see what direction it's going to face. And if I look at it, it's uh, it's going to be almost straight back and forth, but a little bit on an angle towards the number one. So I think I lost my screwdriver here. Okay, so this is the flat sides of it. Just have to find the pin again. 
I'm on top of it. Now I just need to find the groove. There we go. Now I'm turning it. So I. This is the ends of my screwdriver, and I've got it turned basically in the right direction. So now when it drops in, it should go in nice and smooth. Okay, should be all set to drop in. And you always want to turn your rotor a little bit counterclockwise of where you want it to finish because of the, because of the spiral shape of that gear. And there we go. We're in. And you want to make sure down at the bottom here that it's all the way flush. If it's not all the way to the bottom then that means that you don't have that pin into the oil pump drive there. It should be nice and tight in there. Okay, and then you want to tighten this down. But not all the way tight. You still want to be able to turn the timing just a little bit back and forth just in case the timing is off a bit. Okay, we got our sort of set up here we got uh, the transmission line bypassed here and it's got no rad in it we got the battery just sitting here strapped down and it's ready for the first test start okay just gonna give it a little shot of gas here Some reason. All right. 